can't imagine what my life would be in without the Sisters of the Holy Cross. I'm who I am because of, of, of the Holy Cross nuns. I really believe that. If not for the Sisters of the Holy Cross, I, uh, I don't think I'd be the person I am today. Father Morrow established the Sisters of the Holy Cross in 1841, and he always wanted us to reach out to people in need and whatever was the science of the times. When the Sisters of the Holy Cross were asked uh, during the Civil War to do more than just educate people, they were asked to run hospitals, they just said yes. They got their hands and feet dirty. They went to the battlefields to help uh, our soldiers. The contributions they've made are incredible. Uh, education systems, healthcare systems, they're part of the bedrock, uh, the foundation of our country here, and, and, and certainly our community here in Fresno. Through the ages of knowing the sisters who were here, I just try to remember that, that as Sisters of the Holy Cross, we want to continue to fulfill our mission. Our mission is to bring God's gospel to the people, wherever we are. Especially we up for those who are uh, marginalized, and uh, need special help. Sisters of the Holy Cross, you know, represent compassion. And that common good, that thread throughout everybody, they always will find what's good about something. And they're always looking for the next solution and how they can help. Being in critical care for so many years, there's lots of um, extreme situations. And Sister Emily and the chaplaincy not only take care of the patients and the families, but they've also been many times after a patient has passed away, they're with the staff and they've prayed for us and they ask how we're doing each day. Every day that I come here in the morning, I don't see it as my ministry. I see it as St. Agnes, Sisters of the Holy Cross ministry. The ICU is so grateful to have Sister Emily as our chaplain. She just embodies what we are about at St. Agnes. We really are here to serve in the gospel and to heal body, mind, and spirit. The grace that she has, you are so aware of it. She is just, the Christ in her is evident every day. The Holy Cross Center for Women really tries to help elevate and teach and share ways for women and children to be successful. If not for the sisters, I don't believe Holy Cross Center for Women would exist. We work here with the poor and the homeless, and uh, we see a lot of women, a lot of children. I work with the little ones, but also with adults, and uh, we're trying to fulfill our mission as Sisters of the Holy Cross right in this little space in West Fresno. People that come out here, whether they're just low income or homeless, whether they're mentally ill and or addicted, we're here to serve them. The Women's Center here is, is their home. We are their family. The ladies had made a, a, a quilt for Sister Frances and gave it to her for Mother's Day. That shows a lot of what the, the Holy Cross nuns have done for our clients. To carry on the legacy of the sisters uh, uh, is something that's going to be difficult to do. There are many very generous and gifted lay people, of course, and they would be able to further uh, our mission here when we're no longer here. We love you. We just have to look at what sister does every day and the care and compassion and the kindness that she shows. And I think as long as we keep the mission in mind, uh, caring for the individual, body, mind, and soul, and then I think we'll be able to honor their legacy. Feed the hungry, shelter the homeless, give drink to the thirsty. Yeah, you know, I, I think that those are the things we need to continue to do forever.